So we had this addition built about 15 years ago, and then we had seven years of non-winters, and then we had a doozy of a winter, and I started having water leaking in through the, the sliding glass door, and then also through the ceiling, and also through the light fixture. Yikes, I feel your pain, sir. <laughs> Homeowner woes of winter, those dreaded ice dams. But construction experts say ice dams are just symptoms of other problems in your home. So the key, of course, is to identify those first. Andy Lindness from Lindness Construction is here to walk us through the issues and some of the solutions. We appreciate you being here. We were talking in the commercial that we even have these in our house. So this is, no one's immune from this probably. No, no. This this particular project uh, it had a lot of different things going wrong, wrong with it. We don't usually see all of these things on one project. Okay. So <laughs> we got lucky that way to be able to show people, but it was, it, it starts with the bad insulation. There okay. was multiple types of insulation and as you could see that insulation was wet so it lost its R value and really was leading to a lot more heat loss than what the homeowner wanted to deal with. And ventilation is an issue as well. Yeah, see this, this house had an, that addition put on it and what they did is they framed over the top of the old part of the house so they couldn't get the proper attic air chutes in there. That's the intake okay. that comes into the attic. So the ultimate goal in the winter time is to try to get your attic as a t same temperature as it is outside. That's going to give you your best chance to okay. not have an ice dam occur. If you don't have the proper intake, that warm air can just sit in your attic and, and, and really start to melt everything. So we had to actually get a carpenter in there, put some attic air chutes in, and, and once we did that, we were able to suck out all that old insulation, put the new insulation in, and, and hopefully never have to deal with these ice dams again. And I, and I was going to ask that. So we are in the middle of winter, but you can still fix this problem now. Oh, yeah. We, we have guys in attics right now as we speak. Every day we are, we are in people's attics, taking out old insulation, addressing ventilation issues. In addition to the ventilation issues that this house had, they actually had an older water heater. Okay. So it was, it was naturally vented. What that means is the warm air just rises up through it. Well, that warm air in that pipe was going into the bad spot of the attic, causing okay. a lot of snow melt on that roof. And then it freezes. And then it freezes, creates a dam, water gets to it then and it actually starts to get in the attic. So in addition to the ventilation, the new insulation, they actually installed a new high uh, energy efficient uh, furnace, a power vented one that we can actually vent out the side of the house, not into the roof where all that snow is, hopefully taking care of all their problems. All right, so if people have an issue, they can still get it fixed and you have all the answers, it sounds like. Yes, indeed, we'll, we'll, we'll try our best. And uh, you know, it, it really comes, the diagnostic tools that we use on the front end. And, and if I had one thing to tell people, adding insulation to your attic usually isn't enough. You need to address the, the, the ventilation, the insulation, the, the intake, attic air sealing, all those things need to be talked about Usually just adding insulation can a lot of times cause more harm than good. All right, perfect. Thank you so very much. And we